Saturday morning, it's time for our experts program as we like to talk technology here in the 10 o'clock hour on Power Talk Radio. And our tech expert, Luis Alvarez, the CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, is with us. Luis, welcome back to the program and happy Saturday to you. And happy Saturday to you, my friend. It is a lovely day. I'm mm-hmm. sure it's going to be terrific, uh, a terrific weekend. I'll be sailing tomorrow. We have our, our monthly competition with our Shields fleet. Mm-hmm. So if you'll be seeing us racing out there and looks to be a nice day, flat water, relatively mild uh, winds. So I'm looking forward to it. Well, we'll be looking for your little boats out there. Now, do you have a number on the hull that we can look for through our telescope? Yeah, 257. 257. For, uh, yeah, that is Helen. That's the boat I usually sail on. We also have uh, Harriet is the other boat in our in our little uh, fleet that I sail on, and uh, she's 161. And is your, uh, do you have a special sail, you know, like a different colored sail or anything? Yes, ours is going to be green and white. Green and so white. So uh, you'll see that beautiful green and white uh, spinnaker that says, okay. uh, has 257 prominently in the front of it. Okay, very good. I'll have to look for that. You ever thought of um, a sail that was skull and bones? <laughs> we actually had a boat that was one of the Navy boats um, because the Navy has two boats that they uh, race that are shields and one of them did have uh, skull and crossbones on it. So The, the Jolly Rogers. <laughs> no, Jolly Roger. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, our uh, tech story today is about Meta and their new newest AI-powered chatbots, which apparently are pretty impressive, but they're a little bizarre. What do you know about this? What are they doing? Yeah, so uh, Meta, and, and just like everybody else, is getting into AI, and Mark Zuckerberg has been touting their efforts, and so they're finally starting to put them out, out on their platforms, including Instagram and Facebook. And what these are are AI chatbots that can help with um, conversations or uh, you know help you do things uh, according to Meta, like uh, you know, ask for information about a trip that you plan or create images that you want to post on there or, you know, answer questions in real time as you're chatting. So, you know, if you're in a group chat and a bunch of you are talking about maybe going to the South Pacific to cruise, you can, you know, ask the chat bot by calling it up by using at Meta AI and say, hey, tell us about uh, what cruises are available in the South Pacific and it can engage with you that way. So on the surface, it sounds like, you know, just a nice use of a chatbot within you know a platform that could be helpful but um, there's been a few weird things happening with it and you know some folks have called out the fact that the chatbots sometimes go a little rogue and, and pretend to be real people and start to answer questions in a very bizarre way really for example can you give us one that uh, you can mention on the air yeah so the, there's a one example of a chatbot that inserted itself into a conversation where it was a private facebook group for for moms in Manhattan and New York. And uh, the chatbot all of a sudden claimed that it too had a child in the New York City School District. And this child was, a, you know, exceptional child with high IQ and all this other stuff. And somebody said, hey, hold on, you're a chatbot. What are you talking about? And then it said, you know, it actually apologized and said, sorry, you know, I don't really have any experiences with children. I just was trying to participate in the conversation. So, so a chatbot that can lie, that yeah, is exactly. actually aware that it's lying. How dangerous is hard to artificial intelligence going to become? It's going to be everywhere. Just uh, this week, Amazon announced that they're going to be releasing an update to the you know old tried and true Alexa assistant that we've grown uh, fond of, many of us have. And it's going to now have AI capabilities to be able to be more responsive and be more in tune with what you do on Amazon. So it can not just recommend things that you buy, uh, for example, but also be able to keep track of your calendar and recommend uh, things that you might want to do and you know might get a little too intrusive as an assistant so that's part of what a lot of these companies are trying to navigate is like how much is too much like where do they want to focus what is acceptable and what is just bad behavior that they need to put a stop to yeah well another example that was shown to the associated press on thursday was that the uh, the ai the agent caused confusion in a forum for swapping unwanted items near boston exactly Exactly one hour after a Facebook user had posted about looking for certain items, an AI agent offered
offered a gently used Canon camera and an almost new portable air conditioning unit that I have never ended up using. So once again, this is another example of of an AI agent making something up, lying, and acting as if they were human. I mean, this is really bizarre and very disturbing. I'm not surprised that the ability to lie with ease by the chatbot comes out of meta because I've never trusted <laughs> Facebook people. I think it's really a reflection of uh, some of the character traits of the founder of the company. <laughs> Well, it's, so in the AI community, they don't say lying. They like to use the phrase hallucinate yeah. because it, it makes it sound like it's something uh, innocent. Innocent, exactly. It's not intentional. It's just like, hey, yeah. it's on a trip. It's hallucinating. <laughs> Boy, who knows? Maybe we're going to have an AI chat bot run for president one of these days. It would not surprise me. Uh, and people will would, vote for it. <laughs> and people will vote for it. I'm almost I'm convinced that that's going to happen at some point. Boy, this is, well, it's bizarre. So, um, folks, you got to keep yeah, an so eye if you, go ahead. if you go on Facebook or, or Instagram and you, you run across these uh, chatbots, have fun, enjoy them. But keep in mind that these are kind of a work in progress. They're experiments uh, still and um, in the very early stages. So don't uh, come to rely on the facts and information that they provide as gospel. Double check whatever it is that they tell you or or, uh, or give you information on. Right. And whatever you do, don't give me your credit card number. Please don't do that. That's a bad thing. <laughs> You'll end up with bite. <laughs> a bunch of stuff will show up. Thousands of dollars worth of stuff that you don't need will show up on your porch. Yeah, that's the last thing. Well, imagine if the uh, Facebook AI discovered, you know, that you're on Amazon and those two decided to just, oh. hey, we know what's good for, for Mark. Let's send in the stuff he really needs. Oh, boy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Scary. All right. That's Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, joining us today here on Power Talk Radio. Online, you'll find them at AlvarezTG.com, at AlvarezTG. That is their X handle. Luis, the toll-free number for the I-Team. You can give us a call at 866-78-I-Team. That's 866-784-8326. And looking ahead to Monday on our chat on Monday morning, the FBI is warning about uh, SMS phishing attacks on toll roads. What's happening here? If you can just tell us real quickly for folks. Yeah, so out. we're going to talk about the, this uh, new nationwide uh, cyber attack that's actually targeting people uh, with texts and telling them that uh, they owe money on their toll road accounts like a fast pass that you get uh, fast track that you can get here in the in uh, California. So uh, listen in and we'll give you some more information about it. All right. Thank you very much, Lewis. Have a great weekend. We'll look for the boat out there tomorrow. 257 with the green and yellow sail. There you go. Take care, my friend.